Thunderhackers! A veritable vichyssoise of vibes, vim, and vigor unto thee. Who am I, you ask? You may call me V. Now. Ish. Alright. So I'm assuming with V set up, we get started by going into the REPL. Let's go ahead and clear the screen so we can have more space to work with. And let's do some really stupid stuff here. Let's make this bigger. Whoa! Okay. Alright, so let's declare some random number. And we print that number. And we see that that number is equal to what we set it to. Let's go ahead and try to reassign it to a different value. Oopsies! Why did we get this? We got this because in V, all variables are declared as immutable. If you want to have it declared as immutable type, you must prefix it with M-U-T or mute. Short for, you know, mutable. So, to declare mutable type, you just do your mutable type. And then let's go ahead and this time reassign it to the proper value of the answer of the universe. Woohoo! That works! So let's go ahead and take a look at the fun thing that everyone likes to focus on, such as me. I always like to deal with strings. I don't like to deal with anything else. Well, declaring strings could not be easier than ever. You can use single quotes or you can use double quotes. It's up to you. And if you want to do string interpolation, fear not, fair citizen, you can do your dollar sign and then your variable value. Or, if you want to do a more complex expression, then you can be able to assign your string to some random thing. And let's just go ahead and make some random thing. As you can see, single quotes or double quotes work together. And as you can see, it evaluates that expression in the brackets. And so, let's say that you want to have more complex types than just the basics that you're given. Well, you can be able to do more complex types by declaring a structure. And of course, it has to be capitalized because that's the way V wants their types and their structures and everything else done, is they want it capitalized. Then you do its member variables with its type followed after it. Then to declare a new type that matches that, it, you would normally think that, well, I would just do it like any other programming language, right? I would do person and then do this. No. Actually, you do it with the curly cues, and this is beneficial for a multitude of reasons. So the first way that you could declare it is with a name. And then you could also be able to reassign it, and if you don't know because you have too many members, or you just want to assign a few members instead of all of them, then you would simply do similar to before, but you would do it like a JSON string. So you could actually do things like... And then you could be able to see that it has been redeclared that way. So those are some tips and tricks of using variables in V. I try to keep this one short. Voila, hackers! Verily, this video's victus has vanced its last. Thanks for watching, and happy hacking. <laughs>